Hey developers, in today's video, we're diving into the top trending open source dev tools that are making waves this week. From liquid glass effects for React apps, to next-gen rich text editors, to video editing models, and even AI-powered cooking guides, this list has tools that will inspire you to build, create, and innovate. I'll break down each project step-by-step step so you can understand exactly what makes them unique and how you can use them in your own projects. So grab a coffee, hit that like button, and let's explore these amazing tools. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Liquid Glass React, Apple's Liquid Glass Effect for React. Imagine giving your React app that sleek, futuristic, frosted glass UI. Apple showcased a component that not only blurs, but bends light, changes refraction, and adds color distortions with smooth elasticity. That's the power of Liquid Glass React. What makes this tool stand out is how closely it mimics Apple's native Liquid Glass design language. It features multiple refraction modes, configurable frost levels, chromatic aberration, and an elastic liquid feel. You can tweak displacement, blur, saturation, and corner radius to perfection. This isn't just a simple blur effect. Um, it supports arbitrary child elements, which means any buttons, cards, or images you wrap inside will dynamically reflect light and distort edges, adding real depth and interactivity. Plus, it reacts to hover and click events with natural physics, creating tactile feedback that feels alive. For developers craving this exact Apple aesthetic, no CSS alone can replicate it. People on X and the open source community are already buzzing. Use Liquid Glass in your React apps now. Implementation is straightforward with a simple liquid glass wrapper and props to fine-tune visuals, whether you want shader accurate refraction or a faster standard mode. There's even support for tracking mouse movement within containers for complex UIs. Backed by MIT licensing, 1.3K stars, and 80 plus forks, this library is active, modern, and ready for production use. In a world where UI design is moving past flat interfaces, Liquid Glass React makes it easy to integrate dynamic, responsive, and visually rich glass morphism into your designs. It's not just another glass effect, it's a toolkit to recreate Apple-grade aesthetics with full developer control and customization. Project number two, Plate, powerful rich text editor toolkit for React. Imagine building a text editor that's not only sleek and flexible, but also AI-ready, collaboration-friendly, and plug-in-powered. This is exactly what Plate delivers. Standing on top of Slate and React, Plate revolutionizes rich text editing by offering a fully modular, plug-in-driven architecture that lets developers customize almost every aspect from formatting and markdown support to collaborative suggestions and content embeds. What makes Plate truly exceptional is its extensive plugin ecosystem. With over 50 plugins out of the box, you can easily enable headings, lists, links, comments, syntax highlighting, tables, emojis, slash commands, markdown auto formatting, and more, all without writing tedious boilerplate code. Plus, plugins like AI, suggestions, and comments, which are paid in other tools, are available for free in Plate, making it an incredibly powerful open-source alternative. Another standout feature is collaborative editing. Plate supports real-time collaboration with overlapping annotations, suggest edit modes similar to Google Docs or Notion, and comment threads, all managed seamlessly via its architecture and optional integration with YJS or Hocuspicus. From a developer's perspective, Plate simplifies editor creation. The Create Plate plugin API allows you to define custom plugins with keyboard shortcuts, rendering logic, transforms, and state management, making it highly extensible and adaptable. Markdown integration is also first class. Plate converts Markdown to editable structured content and vice versa with customizable rule based serialization leveraging the Remark ecosystem. Finally, Plate embraces next-level flexibility. It offers styled and headless UI variants, seamless integration with AI backends, AI-powered next-sentence suggestions, and support for MCP and Shatten slash UI components, all in one framework. In short, Plate is more than just a rich text editor toolkit. It's a full-featured, plug-in-powered, collaborator-ready, AI-enhanced platform that empowers developers to build modern editing experiences with minimal effort. Project number three, Apple slash container. Run Linux containers as lightweight VMs on macOS. Imagine launching Linux containers on your Mac as easily as typing a Docker command but with the power and isolation of virtual machines. That's exactly what Apple Slash Container brings to the table. Built in Swift and tailored for Apple Silicon, this CLI tool hooks into Apple's virtualization dot framework to spin up Linux containers within tiny virtual machines. Every container gets its own dedicated VM, IP address, and lightning-fast startup, 
offering much stronger isolation than traditional shared kernel methods. What makes it unique is this blend of VM-level security with container simplicity. There's no shared kernel, so escape vulnerabilities vanish. There's no static resource allocation, each container consumes only what it needs, and networking is simplified thanks to one-to-one -one IP allocation. The core runtime is powered by containerization, a swift package that handles OCI images, registry interaction, kernel boot up, and process execution inside these lightweight VMs. The tool includes CCTL, a Docker-like CLI that lets developers pull and run images, CCTL Image Pull Alpine, latest, CCTL Run TI Alpine, latest SH, just like they're used to, with VM-level safety hidden under the hood. Plus, thanks to Rosetta 2 integration, you can run x86 Linux containers on Apple Silicon without any extra hassle. In essence, Apple slash container is redefining containerization on macOS. It merges the developer-friendly model of Docker with the isolation and security of modern virtualization. If you're a dev or DevOps engineer on Apple Silicon, this is the next level of container tech, lightweight, secure, and Apple native. Project number four, base, all-in-one video creation and editing model. Imagine a single tool that can generate brand new videos, edit existing clips, and even perform targeted and painting, all within the same pipeline. That's exactly what base brings to the table. This powerful model blends reference to video, R2V, video to video editing, V2V, and masked video to video editing, MV2V, making it truly unique. Instead of juggling multiple models or plugins, Base lets you move anything, swap anything, animate anything, and reference anything seamlessly. What stands out most is its unified architecture. You can combine tasks freely, think applying depth mapping, then colorizing, then overlaying text, all in one go. That flexibility simplifies complex editing workflows and empowers creators to rapidly prototype visual ideas. Add to that community-ready tools like Gradio demos, pre-processing scripts, and support for multiple resolutions and you've got a toolkit that's both powerful and approachable. Developers will love how easy it is to integrate. Just clone the GitHub repo, install PyTorch, and download the pre-trained models. Base supports both the 1.3b and upcoming 14b versions under Apache 2.0. Whether you're working on video retargeting, in painting masked regions, or generating entirely new scenes, Base handles it all in one unified interface with minimal setup. In short, Base isn't just another video model it's a game changer. By unifying video generation and editing workflows, offering modular tasks, and providing ready-to-use tools, it delivers a next-gen platform for content creators, researchers, and developers alike. If you're building innovative video applications, Base is the one SDK you need to watch. Project number five, how to cook, a programmer's guide to cooking at home. Imagine opening a GitHub repository and finding a cooking guide so clean and logical that it feels like reading code. That's exactly what how to cook offers. Created by Andrew in 2017, this project uniquely tailors cooking instructions for developers. Recipes are written with the precision and structure programmers love. No vague a pinch of salt, just clear, well-structured steps that any coder can follow. What makes this tool stand out is its community-driven, code-like design. It uses a consistent recipe template, categorizes dishes by difficulty and type, and even supports dockerized deployment so users can spin up a recipe server locally or download a PDF cookbook with a single command. It's almost like version control for cooking, pull updates, contribute new dishes with pull requests, and collaborate with thousands of developers worldwide. But wait, there's more. Developers have built on this idea, connecting it to AI through the model context protocol. How to Cook MCP transforms this recipe repo into an AI-powered cooking assistant. You can ask, what should we cook today? Or plan meals for three people avoiding allergies and the AI server suggests dishes using the same structured recipes. The repository comes packed with recipe indexes, simple stars for difficulty levels, ingredient shopping guides, safety tips, and various cooking methods like steaming, frying, and pressure cooking. It even lists advanced topics like food safety temperatures, professional cooking terminology, and meal prep tips, structured just like clear API documentation. In short, how to cook transforms cooking into a programmer's task. It's modular, version-controlled, and scalable. Whether you're a novice wanting clear, precise recipes or a dev interested in pushing it further with AI and community contributions, this repository offers a perfectly coded kitchen experience.
Project number 6 Anthropic Courses Learn Cloud AI from Zero to Pro with Guided Notebooks Imagine having a classroom in your code editor where each lesson is a hands-on Jupyter notebook designed to teach you how to master Anthropic's Cloud AI. That's exactly what Anthropic Courses brings. Five structured, self-paced modules that guide developers from setting up their first API call to implementing advanced tool use workflows. What makes this series unique is its carefully curated learning path, starting with essential API fundamentals, like obtaining API keys, customizing model parameters, streaming data, and multimodal prompts, before diving into interactive prompt engineering and real-world applications. Each course stands out by offering fully interactive environments. You can tweak prompts, test strategies, and immediately see how Claude responds, turning trial and error into a powerful learning experience. By the time you reach the tool use module, you're not just writing prompts, you're building AI-driven pipelines that call tools, automate tasks, and handle responses like a pro. The prompt evaluations section further elevates the toolkit by teaching you how to measure prompt performance in a systematic, production-ready manner. What truly sets this learning suite apart is its alignment with industry practice. It uses Claude 3 Haiku, the most cost-effective model, as a teaching baseline, yet seamlessly allows experimentation with more powerful Claude variants. Whether you're crafting complex prompts for legal briefs or configuring multimodal tasks, each notebook is designed for real-world impact. These aren't just passive tutorials, they're hands-on workshops backed by code you can reuse and integrate into your own projects. With over 15k stars and 1.3k forks, the community clearly values the clarity, depth, and practicality of this resource. In short, Anthropic Courses transforms learning Claude, prompting, tool use, evaluation, into a guided, interactive journey that fast-tracks you from newbie to skilled AI practitioner. Project number 7, Public APIs, the ultimate open-source directory of free APIs. Imagine a tool that instantly unlocks hundreds of free APIs across every imaginable category, from weather and cryptocurrencies to comics and machine learning all neatly organized in one place. That's what Public APIs offers. With over 350k stars, this GitHub repo is a developer's dream library, curated and maintained by a global community. What makes this project unique is its sheer scale and accessibility. Instead of hunting through random blogs or outdated lists, developers get a single, searchable JSON list of APIs that are free, support HTTPS, and have CORS enabled. It's a one-stop shop for prototyping, hacking side projects, or launching apps without worrying about limits or hidden costs. Another standout feature is its structure. It's categorized intuitively, animals, finance, government, music, and so on, making discovery fast and fun. Want a cat fact API? It's there. Need a tool to fetch currency rates or hacker news? Just search the corresponding category. This organization, combined with metadata on authentication needs, API key, OAuth, or none, allows developers to assess the effort before even clicking through. The community-powered model is another game-changer. Thousands of contributors globally regularly add, update, and vet entries. That ensures freshness, dead endpoints get removed, new ones join, and reliability stays high. And since it's open source, you can contribute to, fix links, propose awesome new APIs, or fork and tailor the list. Developers also love how easily it integrates into workflows. You can clone the repo, fetch the JSON, and filter APIs programmatically, ideal for building dynamic API browsers, demo apps, or teaching tools. Plus, it supports multiple languages and frameworks thanks to its simplicity. In summary, public APIs is more than just a list. It's a living ecosystem, comprehensive, well-organized, and community-driven. It eliminates the friction of finding cool, no-cost APIs so developers can spend time building, not searching. If you're making apps fast, iterating often, or learning on the fly, this toolkit is invaluable. And that wraps up our list of top open-source dev tools this week. Which project are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I bring you the latest and greatest dev tools and GitHub projects every week. Thanks for watching and happy coding!